If you aren't going to exercise some self-examination willingly, let me do the honors. You have delayed it long enough. All of that bullshit insight into your mind and the universe? <laughs> Honestly, what were you thinking? Oh, I know what you're thinking right now. That this is another lesson. Another opportunity for redemption. Oh well. I guess that makes me the perfect antagonist, doesn't it? Your last obstacle in this suspiciously tightly designed narrative. Okay then, I'll play along. So do it. Focus. Fight me and find forgiveness. Go on, contrive a big, epic battle against your nemesis. The ultimate challenge! Didn't you ask yourself why there was always a way to go on? No obstacle that couldn't be surmounted? No brain teaser without an answer? Reality doesn't work that way. You rigged it. And why wouldn't you? It was just a playground of your own making. <laughs> Back to strolling around in your neurons, huh? Good! There's a lot of free space here, isn't there? <gasps> Look out for those evil balls of death! They are quite deadly, you know. Or whatever passes for death in here at any rate. What do they even mean? They look like... Well, it's just evil balls of death. There's just no other way of putting it. I mean, it's not a terribly elaborate metaphor. Did you just run out of ideas? That's it. Trap me with your neurons. Isn't that poetic? I think. And how about that colossal metaphor for your daddy issues? What, you needed to face something before the Great Revelation so you pulled that nonsense out of a hat? Wasn't it just masterful symbolism, by the way? An authoritarian parent you never faced in life turned into a gargantuan effigy looking to stomp you. Truly masterful. You should dabble in symbology or myth-making. I'm sure that pays better in the end.
Let's take a trip down memory lane. Irony. And let's remember how all this started. Who prevented you from going into the red light? Was it fate? Or maybe her? Of course not. It was you! It was you all along. You didn't want to choose, so you let your subconscious decide. And look how well that turned out. Did you know caves mostly consist of dead ends? Of course you do, that's why I know. So, how is it that your cave had a single path from the entrance to the exit? <laughs> you bad, bad boy. Those portals of yours always led you to wherever you needed to go. The plot thickens. And now we arrive to the base of the tree. Tell me, what exactly do you expect to find in its roots? Do hurry up. This whole area is going to get wet fast. You don't want to drown as well, do you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot that's a family tradition. All right, come on, let's go. Yes, towards those columns in the back. Why else put them there if not to guide the way? Oh, wait, remember the flooding? <laughs> Don't worry, it's not. It was just to me. Oh, I insist. Ensnare us some more. To make it snappy, things would be tricky if you don't. Oh, do cheer up. Your utter failure in life has not been in vain, you know? As an authority on yourself, I can assure you of that. We have learned some hard truths along the way. Do you want to hear some of them? I dare you to try and throw that spear away. Go on, give it a try. Come on, you know you can. You know what happens next. They always come back. Doesn't make much sense, does it? But of course, without it, you can't go on. So a new one must spring out of nowhere. How will this be? Come on, defeat me. Vanquish your enemy. Give it your best shot. Take all those silly little jigsaw puzzle pieces and... Well, what, exactly? Isn't all this a bit pointless? Well, in the end, you would know better. It's your mind, after all. I love this. Nobody is after you, but you keep pressing forward, so step on the gas. You sank so low, you wasted away for years. Depressed. Useless. Then you traded that for some kind of atonement. And for what? Your obsession left you right back to where you started, with her golden glow dimmed at the bottom of the ocean. Fighting against it only led you to recreate the disaster. You know it in your heart. If you go back, you will fuck it all up again. How many times will you kill her? This ends whenever you want to. But why? You need me. You need me to tell you these truths. The truth about yourself. You are not worth a second chance. How many times will you kill her? You cannot trim a lily, give it a red coat of pain and lovely fragrance, and call it a rose. I wasted my life trying to fix her death, 
and used my own daughter for that purpose. Named her after my dead sister, for God's sake. That's how to screw up your child, 101. As you might have already guessed, I got a pretty serious head contusion back there. Damaged my thalamus, the part of the brain that regulates consciousness. But I found my way back. Though when I woke up, everything felt so alien to me. Especially those goddamn smartphones. No offense, people of the future world. I got used to it in the end. The minute I was back on my feet, I got on the road and for the first time ever in my life, I have no big plans. I'm just living, just like John Lennon said, though I may be paraphrasing. I almost feel as though I haven't been comatose for a decade. Almost. I did learn, though, that Sophia had followed in her own family's muddy footsteps. She never settled. She's chasing her own storms. Strangely, I don't feel like I'm in a hurry to get to my new objective. Not this time. I don't know if she'll forgive me, but I know now that's not really the point. I have to find Sophia and let her know that she can't drown in obsession too. I think it's time I finally told her about her grandfather. And myself. But not my sister. I'm done with that. No more divine concerns. No more identity crisis. I found my way back to my own self, and I have to tell her how I did it. I have to tell her about my path to Thalamus. Yeah.